I know you both have a very busy day today, so I thank you for your time uh, you. and, and uh, talking to me about the subject. Kara, Niall, it's nice to virtually meet you. Yes, nice likewise. You too, thank you for having us. Uh, Niall, actually, I want to I want to start with you. You, this, you play Malcolm, who's a very important character in this film. Uh, tell me a little bit about him. Tell me a little bit about the film. Yeah, um, Malcolm is a smart, intelligent, uh, talented um, young black male from Harlem. Um, yeah, the being able to to portray this character for me was um uh surreal on so many levels um it's it's i feel like it's crazy you know um carl was saying in one of the last interviews like this this film just in general kind of feels like it was written before its time with the events that we saw you know coming out of um you know the time that we finished shooting and it's just you know in the long term effect i just felt so so much more connected to the character even you know after seeing the film uh finished and, and done for the first time um yeah it was it was a it was a challenge for me to play which i really enjoyed you know being able to play challenging roles and it just finding that relativity in the character and in the people around me you know in, in my friend base and the kids i grew up with it was um it became a lot more real, you know, over over time, and when it just came to preparing for that role, so it's it's a it's a prominent raw um, uh, role to take on, and I feel like the film is just kind of revolutionary in, in, in general. So it just it just all played into you know uh, putting on that character and being able to to tell that story. Um, yeah, you know. Uh, it's a blessing to be able to portray this character. It, it's, a, it's a very interesting uh, theme that I had really never thought of before. But with the rising popularity of documentaries, podcasts, you know, murder mm -hmm. podcasts, and, and now we're, more than ever, we're into everybody's lives. And I feel like the subject gave me, a, you know, flipped the camera on me and, and made me think about the people who are behind the camera, who, who mm -hmm. the documentaries are about. Uh, and heck, I mean, I cover some of these some of these films as well. So uh, it's it, it was it was very thought provoking. Kakara, can you comment a little bit on on maybe the thought of the people behind the camera that that we see in these documentaries? Yeah, I I think this is the first film that I've seen or read that shines a light on that, and I think it really makes us take a hard look at you know, at ourselves as a whole, as a society, as a culture, just like you said, with, you know, podcasts covering, you know, gruesome murders and, and even just with um, the culture right now, we, you know, we're bombarded with images of people dying and Black people dying um, at the hands of police and, you know, just murders and killings and fights. It's just all sensationalized. And uh -huh. um, I think that this is just a really necessary story to, um, to really make us question like who's benefiting from that and are we really helping or are we really just trying to uh, appear to be woke and not really doing anything to benefit the community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And, and with that, because we see, we see in the beginning, uh, Phil's line of questioning, like, do you have a gun? Do you, do you, have you killed somebody? And, and really trying to really try and upplay that part of Malcolm's character. But what we don't see is is a uh, is is some of the questions that then Malcolm asks him, and some of the things that he that he wants Malcolm as a person, not as a gang member, which is he or you know that trying to portray right. him in his documentary. Uh, how um what what do you feel about being able to play someone like that now, where you can flip the script and and really talk about hey, what you see on the screen sometimes is is not the entire narrative. But just a snippet of a whole story. Yeah, it's 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 very powerful in 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 that sense. You know, it's it's, it's something that I feel like it's it's definitely something that needs to be pushed more. I feel like these days, just in general, it's it's a, it's a very strong topic. You know, like being somebody. You know, Malcolm. We see him as this ambitious young man who wants to go on. He's inspired. You know, he's inspired by Phil's character, and he wants to go on to make films. Mm -hmm himself that day and so do I you know as an actor I want to 
I want to branch out, you know, and start making my own movies someday as well. You know, it's, there's, it, in that conversation, I think, you know, it, it talks about how there's a lot of talent that gets looked over, you know, even when, when people go to the projects and do these documentaries, you know, hanging amongst these kids, like all these kids that they pass, do they know like what they're capable of and what they could be doing with their lives if they're, if they're nurtured and they're put in the right, you know, position. There was a whole lot that started to make me question certain things, you know, again, like about um, those who I'm around and what, what I, you know, what, what could I be doing more, you know, for the youth and just in, in inspiring them to, you can do this, you know, especially if you're, if you're stuck in these positions, you know, I, I've growing up and in, in, in seeing these kids go to high school and get caught up in whatever it is that they're doing, you know, I, I've met so many talented kids as well. And in that same sense that uh, definitely reflects a, a lot of Malcolm. So, you know, Malcolm kind of having the, the intelligence to, to, in that scene to, to start asking Jason the questions and he kind of almost, you know, I don't want to give stuff away, but tells him off, like, you kind of need me in order to, <laughs> to, to, you know, keep this going that you have. It's, there's, there's a deeper meaning there, you know, that, um, uh, for me, something that was something I took away with it and something that I hope that other uh, watchers take away with it as well, you know, really preserving the youth and the talent that the youth has and just our voice in general, what we have to say and speak out against what's going on here. You know, we, we have to be pushed and we have to be nurtured and we have to be put in these places where we can grow, you know, or else, you know, sadly, uh, we, we could, you know, end up in that position, kind of like Malcolm, you know, and not really knowing where to go and not having that shoulder to, or that, that push to say, hey, yeah, I can, I, I can show you this path. I can show you something different, you know? Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's a saying we have in Spanish, talento no falta, no mas apoyo, which, which translates mm. to, uh, um, there is no lack of talent. It's just a lack of support. Mm. And, and I think, yes. I think that's that. definitely the case in some of these areas. Uh, Kara, I want to take a little time. Can you tell me a little bit about Marley? Yeah, Marley is um, an aspiring filmmaker, documentarian, just like uh, Jason's character, Phil. And she really looks up to him. She's like followed and, you know, pseudo stalked his career. <laughs> um, and yeah, she, she's really ambitious. And I, I, really I really wanted to dive into this character because I think she hits on something that is very, um, you know, prevalent in our culture right now, this hustle and ambition, but like at what cost and how far will you go to get ahead? And yeah. she far. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to go too far, too far into talking about it because we want people to enjoy that. But it, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, heck, here I am working two jobs and still doing uh, things like this with you guys, but I love doing it. And it, it's kind of at an all cost thing and I do not regret it. Uh, um, what do you, what do you, uh, what do you take away from your character? For me? Yes. Oh, what do I take away? Um, just that to, to really question what my priorities are. And cause I mean, I think you have to be ambitious these days to mm -hmm. in any industry, but especially anything entertainment related, you kind of have to have several hustles going on with the cost of living these days, if you want to have extra stuff, but um, it does make me realize it playing this character made me sit and think where I draw the line. And it also made me sit and think like the role that I play in my community, like I was speaking to earlier. And, you know, am I really helping give back? You know, am I just going to make a poster? Am I going to, you know, make a donation or even have a conversation with someone in my family and let them, you know, try to help inspire just really actually getting out there and doing the work mm -hmm. rather than, uh, posting about the work and yeah. appearing to do the work on the outside yeah uh, now same question to you yeah same thing I can definitely go off of everything that she that she said you know can, can how can I get my hands more dirty how can I uh how can I speak out against this how can I reflect this in in um just my art in general you know in music I do music as well you know through whatever it is how can I really empower the youth to to maneuver towards conversations like this, especially in this movie, I've been trying to get so many kids my age to you know watch um, this film specifically. You know, just 
uh, it, it also made me think about, you know, just my position overall in, in society as a young black male, you know, because my, my you know, my, my mindset has changed a lot, you know, even being someone, you know, I'm, I, I live day by day uh, feel comfortable, you know, feeling, uh, feeling comfortable in my skin and comfortable, you know, my body, but there's, there's, we live in a different world now, you know, where I have to, you know, there's, there's a carefulness that I have to have, you know, it's uh, unfortunately, but it's also, how do we keep people alert, you know, with, um, everything that's going on and, uh, you know, just, just the, the film in general has, has completely changed my mindset just in, uh, what we pay attention to in, 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 in everyday life. And, and, you know, when we're, when we're watching documentaries and we see, you know, um, what's happening in society out on social media, just, um, you know, how do we, how do we find different areas of approach to inform people and keep people educated? Most definitely, you know, there's, there's so many different things that I feel like is to be taken away from this film, you know, for those who watch. So, yeah. Most yeah, or like, or like you both stated, uh, how do we not just turn off the television and say, well, that, you know, that was right. sad, but how, how do we reach out to our communities and actually make a, a, a physical difference uh, in, right. in, in uh, making things better? Uh, Niall and Kara, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it talking to you both. Kara, I got to say, I love you and Turner and Hooch. Uh, oh, that show is so much fun. <laughs> oh, awesome. <laughs> So, yeah, I really enjoyed that. And, and now I really look forward to see what you got coming up. You, uh, so uh, we hopefully we'll be talking to you both again. Absolutely. Yes, hope so. Right. Thank you so nice much. Nice to virtually meet you both and hope you have a nice day. Thank, Thank you, you too. Take care. Have a good one.